Welcome to part 6 of The Longest Journey, and in this part, we're gonna make the captain sign the delivery sheet. It's the white. And for this, we go back to the city gates. And I love this scenery, it's just so awesome. Those huge ships. I wonder if you ever get on one of these ships, actually. Because uh, they look like really, really awesome. So now we're back at the city gates and we have to find a merchant here. And it's that merchant I'm pointing at. There's another one this there. This guy's selling lobsters, crabs, eels, and... What the hell is that purple thing? That is so not appetizing. I don't even want to know. Those guys. guys must be part of the city watch. They look a hell of a lot more intimidating than the Newport cops, despite the lack of an exoskeleton. So the stall we want to go to is that one. And because we want to purchase an instrument. This guy's selling musical instruments. Most of these I don't even recognize. But he's got a drum in there and what looks like half a guitar and a couple of dried rabbit carcasses. Ugh. What's your um most affordable instrument? That's cute. The flute, right? And how much for the flute? I'm guessing that's one Aaron. And remember, we actually got one of those uh, for our first uh, delivery, and we give that to the merchant to purchase an instrument. I'll have the flute. That's one Aaron, isn't it? As luck would have it, I actually know how to play a flute. Not very well, but I'm sure the, uh, Mojal won't mind. He's selling a variety. He's selling a variety. So now we head back to the captain and hope that he signs that damn delivery sheet. I'm ready to play some music if you're ready to sign. Aye, go on, but don't stop until I'm done signing. Or the Mojal will surely wreak vengeance on us both. Done. Here you go. And don't ever ask me to sign anything ever again. I can pretty much guarantee you that. So one more thing we have to do here, uh, you can see that small pier right there, we go there and we uh, talk to the old man to find out about uh, some... The thing. old man and the uh, ocean? Looks like a lifetime at sea has left its tracks on him. And it be looking like a lifetime of shooting your mouth off be taking its toll on you. Guess uh, that was a Hemingway reference right there, so let's talk to him. Hello, old man. I got me no treasure, and I got me no map of no buried treasure. I just be an old sailor with no ship, so leave us be. What are you doing? Mending nets, of course. What it look like I be doing? I'm not well versed in maritime customs. Mar what? Ah, yes, mean sea life, dear not. Ah, the smell of the salty sea, the lapping of waves on your ship, the spray of cold water on your face, plump maidens in every part. 
I, I tell yous, I be having stories about the sea. Care to share some of your maritime stories with me? Matter what? Ah, tales of the sea, right? Sure, sweetie, I be happy to. Now, what stories be I wanted to hear then? Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. I, I be having plenty of tales to tell. There be the tale of me adventures in the Bakshivan Empire, if he'd be interested. It'd be a tale of grand romance. Just up your alley, be sure of it. Sure, that sounds like a fine story. Aye. It'd be near on fifty years ago that I was a mate on a sturdy old lady called the Three-Legged Whore. The what? What do I be saying? She was called the Thrifty Horse, she was. Aye, that be her name. The Whittle What's It. Ah, uh, you don't remember the ship's name, do you? Ah, uh, anyways, I be a young mate then, and we be anchored in Monterva, the grand western port of the once glorious Bakshivan Empire. I be having ship leave until the following evening, and it be me first visit to that exotic and dangerous port. So I sits out to have a look around. Now, bear in mind that Monterba be ruled by a mock. Like all large Bakshivan cities. In principle, the mock be having to report to and pay half of all taxes to the emperor in Port Altaban. But with the Bakshivan Empire having all but crumbled into pieces, the provinces to be having the power to do pretty much as they be wanting. Err, uh, and so I sets out on me own that day to explore the city. Now, bear in mind that all the cities of the Southlands. And that be me adventures in the once glorious empire of Bakshiva. And that be how I meet me bird bird. How I see Dus and the romance the Mock's daughter. How I be chased from Mount Herba by the Mock's soldiers. And how I be the first man to walk across the desert of Shangagriel, the wastelands. And how I be getting this awful rash on. Ah, girl, you do not be sleeping, do you? What? 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 Sleeping? N no, 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 no. Just concentrating really hard. Err. Good story, though. Solid. Solid material. Ever considered doing a book? Aye, but the agents in Marcuria be bloodthirsty vampires with no thought but to milk your life's blood. Oh. So they take an outrageous commission, then? No. They actually be bloodthirsty vampires with a penchant for biting your neck when you ain't be looking. Huh. What have you got in that chest? What chest? The one you're sitting on. Oh, that be no chest, girl. That be me stool. I me stool, carved into the uncanny likeness of a chest. But what's in it? No priceless treasure, that be for sure. Nothing, nothing at all. It be empty. No, really. What's in the chest? Oh, live snakes. Aye, snakes that'll bite your face off before you have time to jump. Better leave them be, then. I'm still curious about that chest. Right, right. I be telling yous, curse the balance, girl. You never give up, do you? I be having no real treasure in here, like I told ye. But it 
be where I keep me personal articles and things I be picking up now and then on me travels. And me bed, it's where I be keeping me bed before I be losing him. I be a stupid, stupid old man. He be my best friend. I ain't nobody else around to talk to, you see, on account of him being a talking bird. What happened to your talking bird? I be... He cheated out of him. I, that cups handler on the marketplace, be cheat me in a full game of cups, and I be having to give me bird up to try to win me money back. And what happened? He be taking me bird when I be choosing the wrong cup. I, my best friend, taken from me. Cursed to be the balance. I be all lonesome now. The worst part is that me bird is now a prize to be won, a prize in the cups game. Beat the handler thrice and you win a prize of your choice, me poor bird. What's your bird's name? Bird. Oh. I'd love to hear some more maritime stories. Sure, sweetie, I'd be happy to. What story you'd be wanting to hear now? Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. You want ma? Damn be me wooden left ankle. I be having a great old tale to tell yous about how I be coming to have me wooden pecker. It all began... You know what? On second thought, forget about it. Ah. I'd better get going. Ah, yous young'uns all be always running round. Everything be so important. He's been having no time to sit down and take a breath. So go. Be not wasting your time here with me. So now we're done here. Uh, keep in mind that um, we were at the cup guy and uh, he had a bird. And this is actually the bird of the old man who kind of uh, lost it uh, gambling with him. So I guess, I don't know yet, but I guess we will have to get it back uh, later on. But we're not going to do that now. We're going to go back to uh, the marketplace and um, yeah, uh, go to the map merchant and uh, talk to him, tell him about our first delivery and maybe get a second delivery. So we're back at the stalls and um, yeah, let's see what this uh, new delivery will offer us. So we uh, take the delivery sheet from the inventory and uh, give it to the map merchant. Right, your next assignment is a map of Shangagriel to the Rolling Man. Hold on, did you not ask me about him earlier today? Um, no, no, that wasn't me. That was somebody else. I could have sworn, well, no matter. Uh, do you know how to get to the Rolling Man's house? I forget. Uh, let me explain then. Now, pay attention because this is complicated. He has chosen to live in the most inaccessible place in the city, but I guess he has his reasons. First you head west off the marketplace on Oak until you get to a tiny little apothecary, Mrs. Cassop's Herbs and Oils, where you turn north on South Street, confusing that, for about four minutes of brisk walking. That's when you see a, a large grove of trees. It's a memorial to those who died in the last war with the tyrant back uh, the balance knows when. Can't see why they choose to remind us of that. Where you'll turn left. That's west? No, left. That'll take you back south, but onto North Street instead. And that keeps you out of the Dalmari neighborhood. Down that way. Nasty, nasty neighborhoods. Keep walking south or about, or was that north? Wait, wait, north on South Street, south on North Street, or the other way around. Anyway, find the Rose Bridge off uh, Irene Avenue and cross it. There's a river? 
No, just a bridge. The river disappeared 500 years ago. No one knows what happened to it. After you've crossed the bridge, you'll be on the western slopes of Marcuria. And that's where West House... I, I mean, the Rolling Man lives. No, far from it, but you need to pass through that part of Marcuria to get to the Rolling Man. Keep south and watch out for the livestock. They're likely to attack in that part of town. Eventually you'll get to a large circular square. That's where they used to hold executions back when the city was civilized. You call murder civilized? Better than locking people up for years, as any level-headed person would tell you. Our freedom cannot be curtailed. Real men choose the honor of death to the shame of incarceration. Yeah, sure you do. Circle around the square and head down Tandak. For half a mile, or should that be Parrick Lane? Yes, Parrick Lane. Head west on Parrick Lane for uh, half a mile, then turn right at the Maiden's Honor Tavern. North again? Uh, no, west. Uh, Parrick Lane has a few twists and turns. Anyway, you should now be able to see the Ivory Tower. Is it a big tower? No, only about five feet tall, but it's ivory, straight from the coast of the Southlands, bravely cut from the drooling jaws of the gruesome Kandar. Big creature, four legs, large ears, long snout, sort of grayish in color? Yes, the horror of the Southlands. Many a brave hunter has fallen victim to its ravaging hunger. Good grief. Okay, then what? Pass by the tower to the edge of the cliff and look down. The rolling man has built his home on the cliffside. It's a wonder he's not been washed away by the storms. <laughs> I hope I got all that. Basically, go west until I hit the edge, right? Uh, yes, that would be correct. So I'm going to end this part right here and I'll see you in the next part. Please like the video if you like the video. See you soon. Bye.